happening guys welcome back to another quick tip tuesday so today we're talking about the project manager and sure you've been in there you've opened your project but do you know all the cool things that you can do in there so let's jump into resolve and i'm going to show you some of the cool things they've got in the project manager all right so we're here in davinci resolve and if you don't know where the project manager is you come down to the lower right hand corner here this little house icon that's your project manager so go ahead and click on that now when you bring up the project manager you've got a couple different things going on here first you've got all of your projects now all these projects are saved in one database now if your view looks like this and you don't see the database come up here and click on this little icon right here and that's gonna show you any databases you have set up. In my case, I have two of them. One thing to keep in mind with your databases is you typically wanna keep them on your internal hard drive. That's gonna give you the best performance and the uh, best speed to access all of the project information. Now remember, the project files themselves that we're looking at here, these are not your media files, which is like all those huge video files, you know? You can store those wherever you want. The actual project files get stored here and they're not that big, so keep them on your internal hard drive. So the first cool thing that I like is backing up the database. Backups are cool, right? All right, let's be honest. They're not cool until you need one and you lose all your stuff, right? Then a backup is cool. So to back up your database, just click on it to highlight it. And you can come up to the top here and you have backup. And all you're gonna do is click on that and it's gonna go ahead and back up your database. The next cool thing you got here is restore. Let's say your database gets corrupted. Something happens, you can restore your database that you previously backed up. The next cool thing about the project manager here is the way you can view your files. So you can look at it this way that I'm looking at it right now. And in order to get that view, you wanna click on this little icon right here. And I like this view because I can sort by the last one I modified, by a date I created it, or typically as you see here, I name my files with the date I'm going to post the video. So I can sort everything pretty easily. But you also have the option to click on this icon right here. And that brings up a thumbnail view for your images. And if you scroll over it, you're gonna get a little preview of what's going on in the video there. And you can also come up here and zoom in and out so you can see more of them on the screen. So I'm gonna go back into this view here cause that's what I like. So if you come to any one of your projects and you right click on it, you get all kinds of cool options here. Some of the ones that uh, I like are right here, dynamic project switching. That's gonna allow you to open more than one project at a time. You can have two projects open so you can copy things from one project to another and uh, that works out really good. Although for me on my uh, older MacBook Pro here, it does get a little sluggish so I can't actually work with two projects open, but I can have them open to copy things back and forth. So that works out pretty good. So I use that all the time. Next one here, project backups. So if you have your project set to backup on a regular interval, then the backups is a good feature here that you can use to restore any of your projects that might be messed up. So if you go ahead and click on it, it will actually bring up a whole list of backups that are saved for that particular project. Now you're only gonna see these if you set up your project settings to save the backups. And I think by default it's set to, I don't know, keep them for like a day or something and not that long. So if you waited longer than a day, you're not gonna see anything in this window. So keep that in mind about changing your project backup settings so that way you hold on to the backups a little bit longer just in case something happens. You can always go back to them right here. I'm gonna go ahead and close that window. And if I come back to this menu here, you've got a lot of other great things here. You can load project settings to your current project. You could delete a project, obviously. You can export a project archive. And this is good in case you wanna maybe bring it from one machine to another. You can go ahead and export your project, bring your media with you, go ahead to your new machine or whatever and import your project and get going working on your project there on a different computer. So that's helpful too. Coming back into this menu here, you've also got the option to export and import a project. So that's great because if you wanna export your project, say I wanna work from this computer and I wanna to go to my desktop, I can export the project out, bring my media with me, dump it on the new machine, open it up. I can use the import project and we're good to go. I can go ahead and work on my project on another machine. So that's pretty sweet. I like that feature. And in this window, you also have the option to rename your projects. Sometimes you mess up the name so you can rename it here if you want. And just closing out of that menu, one of the last things that I like here in the project manager is the ability to create folders. So for me, if I scroll down here, you see I've got a resource packs folder. I have a folder for clients and it really just helps me keep all my projects organized better. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, I love to keep all this stuff organized because if I need to go back and find stuff or get uh, anything from another project, it's just way easier if I have it organized and have a system going here. So 
Definitely like that I can use folders here to keep track of everything, keep it all organized. And I think you can create as many folders as you want over here. So I've got a few and right now that works good for me. All right, so that's it, the project manager. You got a lot of stuff you can do in there, things that come in super handy. And if you haven't used any of those things before, hey, now you know what they are and you can use them if you need them. So hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more quick tips. Definitely click the little bell so you get notified when I put out a new video. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.